Hello! I'm filming this at night and it's kind of nice because it's really quiet. Um, today I want to flip through this Fall Traveler's Notebook that I set up. This is really the first, like, like I've, I've set up a Traveler's Notebook one other time before this, but I'm new to Traveler's Notebooks, so this is really like my first actual Traveler's Notebook setup. And um, I got so excited about this. Like, I was obsessed with all of this for weeks. I, like, spent so much time getting all the stuff together to make it cohesive. And it was so fun. And I love it. So I just really wanted to do, like, a little flip through of this. And then I'll talk about, like, how I'm using it and what I'm going to change for my next setup and all of that. Okay. So this, the cover itself, this is a faux leather, fake leather cover, and this is from Print Pressions, and the color is peach, and I love this color, it's so nice. This little um, bow, this is from Simply Gilded, this was from their subscription box last month. Um, this pen on the side here, this is also from Simply Gilded in their subscription box last month. I've got this adorable little dangly charm down here, and I want to bring this up closer. It's so cute. It has like this little fall leaf, and it's got all these little, I guess, like acorns or whatever. This is from an Etsy shop called Two Weeks on Mars. And then also this really cute um, acorn paper clip up here. It's so cute. It's also from that same shop, Two Weeks on Mars on Etsy. I love her shop, highly recommend her. She was really nice. Okay, so when I open it up, I love this so much. This just makes me feel like so inspired. <laughs> I don't know, I just get so excited every time I open it up. Okay, so this little pen, I added on later. This is just like a, it, the color reminded me of fall and I liked to write with it. This is just a Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner. You can get this individually like at Michael's or whatever for like a dollar or a dollar or two dollars or something like that. It's just a really really fine tip kind of um, kind of pen. Okay so this sticky pocket is from Happy Scrappy. And all of these little stickers inside I got a long time ago off of AliExpress. I don't remember where this paper clip came from. These are from Simply Gilded. And this is this is just a piece of white cardstock. The back is here, I'll take it out. I cut this down to size, just kind of eyeballing it. The back is just plain white. And I just sort of made like a little washy, just something to to put some color there and I put all of the washi tape from the Simply Gilded box last month in there because I loved all the colors and how it matched and I loved to be able to just see it all. And this first, there are four inserts in here. This first one, this, this die cut is from Bloomsicle and this paper, all of this paper is digital paper from Bloomsicle that I downloaded and printed. And I'm just gonna um, unclip this. Um, this is the inserts, the actual inserts themselves are from Jacenia Printables, but I'm going to switch them up and I'll probably talk about why at the end of the video. First of all, I printed these incorrectly. So, word to the wise, when you're printing inserts for traveler's notebooks, make sure that you print double-sided. <laughs> um, like I said, this is my first setup, so I didn't do it correctly. Um, but I, I do like this layout. Um, I really like the way that this is set up. So that's the weekly. This die cut is from Salty Katie Co. And then we get into like a meal planner. I did not even utilize this correctly, which is disappointing. These raccoon sticky notes, I love raccoons. I ha they're my favorite animal. These are from Walmart. I found those at Walmart for like a dollar, I think it was. And I was, I should have bought more because I love them so much and it's so cute. The third insert, this is just a journaling insert. This works for me. I haven't had enough time to journal as much as I want to. 
but th I'm gonna keep using this because I really like having a place inside my traveler's notebook to journal um, and I didn't really do anything personal I just did um, I'm reading a book right now on entrepreneurship and I took notes and I really utilized it for that and all of the sort of the most important and inspiring sort of bits that I pulled from that chapter these die cuts are also from Salty Katie Co. Um, and then we have the final insert, and this one is um, wellness. And I put this in here completely wrong. Like the um, the title page, I think it's somewhere in the, yeah self care. That's supposed to be that's supposed to be here on the the first page, but I didn't put, construct this or print this correctly. This also did not work for me. I just found myself not utilizing it. Uh, so, you know, you learn as you go. You learn what works for you and what doesn't, right? And then the, on the back here, this is a journaling card from the Simply Gilded box last month. And I just used washi tape and taped it down. And the this is a B6 sized insert that was also in that Simply Gilded subscription box. And it's just dark grid on the inside. And I have... This is just for, um, you know, like if I want to test out a pen or jot down a note or just whatever. And then here you can see the full, this adorable clip from Two Weeks on Mars, the shop on Etsy. And then at the very, very back, the end of the Traveler's Notebook, this is a pen loop. And then I just have the little, this is like a little washi sampler of some of my favorites from that Simply Gilded box so that if I want to use any of them, I can just pull them out. So this is, that's the, that's the whole setup, that's the whole notebook. Now I'm going to talk about, you know, what worked and what didn't. So I use the Happy Planner to, to plan pretty much most of the time. And I just love it so much. It, it's, it just works so well for me. And um, I'll go ahead and show you. I'm, I'm always consistent with it. It's fun. It, I, I love it. This is my happy planner, and here's here's this week. Um, it's so autumn because I'm obsessed with autumn stuff right now. Um, and I just it just works. There's this is a classic size. There's so much space for me. I'm able to list like some goals over here. Do like a habit tracker, which I'm so bad at habit tracking that I didn't even track my habits. Ugh. But I'm able to keep track of what's going on with work, what things I want to do, you know, just like payments or whatever is coming up. It just, um, it just works so well for me. And I'm so used to having so much space. So for my weekly, the weekly insert that's inside of this traveler's notebook, I found it to be a little bit too small. I, it, um, I mean, in comparison, like if you compare the sizes, you can see how much bigger the Happy Planner is than this really small little traveler's notebook. Um, and I apologize for the racket. It's this little charm rattling around on the desk. Um, so the, the size was like small. It was, it was too difficult for me to plan properly. Like I think I did one weekly spread. Um, and it just, it was kind of difficult for me to figure out how to utilize this. So maybe I'll keep at it. Maybe I'll keep trying. But um, we'll see. The journaling worked for me. I love having a place to journal. So the meal planner did not work for me. I did not hold myself accountable. I didn't plan any meals. I, uh, this didn't go well. <laughs> I'm going to be replacing this. I, my idea for this, for using a traveler's notebook, since I do so much planning in the Happy Planner already and I'm so satisfied with that system, what I think I'm gonna do with my traveler's notebooks, I think I just want to make them like a, a creative outlet. What I would like to do is I think I wanna have, I wanna keep this journaling insert because I really like this, it works well for me. But I think I also wanna include an insert for practicing hand lettering or maybe doing something fun like a quote a day or like a bible verse a day that could be really fun and creative and then I also want to have one maybe one for sketching like I've got a lot of watercolor paper but it's just sitting 
in the pressed pad. And I thought maybe I should take that watercolor paper out and trim it to size and use it so that I have a place to sort of play with watercolor on the go and maybe express myself that way. So that's that's ideas for three inserts. That leaves a fourth. This this traveler's notebook has has four four elastics. Most of my TNs do. Which, by the way, let me just take a second here. Um, if you do not know what a traveler's notebook is, it's a notebook. It's it's just a, a leather or faux leather or cloth or whatever material you want. It's a cover, and it has these elastics in it. And you can just slide a booklet inside of it and you and it will hold your booklet. This one has four elastics so it will hold four inserts which is what you call the little booklet that you slide in there. Anyway, so as far as a fourth, um, a fourth insert, I, I'm still trying to figure out what I could do. One idea I've had is to maybe do like a commonplace book. That could be an interesting idea. A commonplace book is like a a book where you just write down your favorite quotes or song lyrics or Bible verses. Some sort of memorable and important phrase or or, or words that you just want to remember that you have there to look at so that you can go to one place and find like all of your favorite quotes to like motivate and inspire you. That could be something fun that I could do. I'll have to think about it. But for now, that was my first Traveler's Notebook. I think this is so fun. It was so incredibly fun to be creative and put this together. And I can definitely see myself continuing. I, I, I have to figure out what works for me, but I'm gonna continue to use Traveler's Notebooks and keep playing with them because it's too fun. It's so creative. It's really fun. But I also love my Happy Planner so much because it's so fun and it helps me so much. So that's kind of my thoughts. Um, I started a Facebook group for Traveler's Notebooks and Planners and um, I am so obsessed with Traveler's Notebooks right now <laughs> that if you're watching this I would be so happy if you joined that Facebook group because I love like talking about how you use your Traveler's Notebooks, what you use them for, you know, looking at photos of them, seeing how people set them up and what inspires them. It's really fun. Okay, well it's getting late so I'm going to end this video and I think you might have just heard Facebook go off. My iPad's over here. I think my husband is telling me to come to bed. So, okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.